The sign ordinance is currently being drafted, but it's mainly addressing business signs. A community of artists have come together asking the city they also consider murals and officially give it a different designation under its own set of requirements. I did uh, preliminary sketches and uh, I did a bunch of um, different collages with photographs. Stroke by stroke, Gil Rocha is crafting Cotula's commissioned mural. It's not just to draw the eye, but to draw people closer. It brings the community together uh, during the making of the mural and also afterwards by taking care of the wall. Uh, it helps businesses around it because as more people come into the neighborhood, uh, they get to visit places around it. The Murals like, like these are harder to create like in Laredo no because they're treated as commercial signs, says the city's building director, Ramon Chavez. There's currently no language in our ordinance uh, that uh, specifies uh, murals. Rocha belongs to the Artport Alliance and is hoping to change this. By including public art like murals in the sign ordinance, we could soon start seeing a more colorful city. The Alliance is hoping yeah, adding language to the ordinance that would not treat murals as business signs and are therefore not subject to a site plan, restricted size, a location where they can be painted, or a high fee. If the new uh, sign ordinance makes well, these changes, like, expect more to come around the city. It's a city filled with walls that are just there waiting, you know, to be painted. The Artport Alliance is hoping these talks create momentum to eventually create a city committee dedicated to grow the arts in Laredo. For KJNS News, Valerie Gonzalez.